Hello, anyone. Mr. Skyson here, and welcome to a tireless prepare for the adrenaline. A demo. I was looking around for something different to play when the visuals for this caught my eye. It's all cubic and polished looking with a sort of Tron thing going on. Seemed too cool to ignore, so here we are. In Tireless, you play as Blur, a robot whose life goal is to become the best speedster in all the galaxy. And to accomplish this, he's trying to beat a game called Tireless. Wait a sec, isn't that what we're doing? Am I a robot? Are you a robot? Oh god, what are we? You know what? Never mind. No time for existentialism. Let's go! Running in space. How do I do the controls? Ooh! Well, that's different. I'm able to control my mouse with my gamepad. Cool! Start the game. New game. Yeah, it works with keyboard and uh, gamepad. I'm playing with gamepad, apparently. You sure do you want to start a new game? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of, Ooh. Game difficulty. Hard mode or nothing else. Okay, then. Would you like uh, to go... Yes, tutorial. Cool. Interesting way to start a game. It's like, hey, what mode would you like to play? Hard mode or hard mode? Wee, so yeah, look at the visuals. Ooh, I got a camera. Cool. Yeah, I got some neat visuals in this. Everything's like very spacious. Of course, you know, galaxy, space, all that. But apparently we're in cube space. Holy crap, that's big. Yeah, everything's really cool looking. Look at me. Even I'm shiny. A little hard to see. But yeah, there we go. Little reflections on me. Everything's reflective. This is cool. I like this. Oh. Welcome, Blur. I am Kiera, a specially designed AI to guide you through the game of Tireless. Use the WASD keys to move around and spacebar to jump. Hold the jump button to jump higher if needed. Okay. Also, during the cutscene, I seem to have a uh, slight camera control during that, so that's kind of neat. See, overall, the game is like a. Uh, like a speed-running platformer, I suppose. A lot of free-running going on, and... Oh. This is a jump pad. Walk onto it, and it will launch you far in the air. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got moves. I got flippies. That's cool. I think that... Yeah, I think he just does it on his own. Because, like, I did a sort of spirally thing. We Yeah, like that. That's cool. He's got his own moves. Ooh. This is a health coin. Collect a hundred of these and increase your lives by one. Neat. So, standard platformer rules, collect the things, get lives. I can deal with that. Ooh. Other players. If you would like, you can change your appearance by using the arrow keys. I would like. I like customization. Oh, so I get a whole rainbow of me. Learning the controls, uh, uh, arrows. Ooh, D-pad. Ooh. I got wings! Look at me, I can fly! I got... Cut wings! I'm not, I'm not really sure what that is. Got my cape. Jetpack. I think I'm actually gonna stick with the cape. I kinda like it. And then, up and down. Ooh. Yeah, I got different colors. Neat. I think I'm gonna stick with my blue, though. I like the blue. Up, up, and away! This is a checkpoint. Entering it will save your location and will respawn you here when you lose a life. Just remember that if you lose all your lives, the level will reset and you will spawn back at the beginning. Good to know. Let's go ahead and hit that. Checkpoint there we go. Reached. Checkpoint reached. And yeah, apparently you can do all of the things during cutscenes. Or whatever she counts as. So, oh. You can press shift while moving in any direction to dash, both on ground and in air. This ability has one second cooldown. Okay. Cool. What's my dash? Whee! There it is. Right bumper. Yep. Oh no! I didn't make it. Oh, that's a life, isn't it? Yep. Two lives. I'm in the tutorial and I already suck at the game. Whee! This is the adrenaline box. It possesses incredible power. Collecting it will give you a great boost of speed and increase your jump height. This power-up lasts for five seconds. There, now I have wings like you. Oh, slow motion. And I'm stopping. Okay, fine then. When you're in adrenaline mode, movement is very sensitive, so it's 
basically like zoom speed. So we've all played games that did that kind of thing. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I, I can no longer. Wow, both joysticks suddenly control the camera. Uh, can we get a reset on that? Haha. -ha! Okay, there we go. That's a bit odd. Give me that. Holy crap, this is fast. Uh-oh, I missed one. I also missed a bunch of coins. Uh-oh. I, I don't think I can... Oh, no. I goofed it. Whoops. Come on, make the jump. Eh, I can't make it. Oh, well. An attempt was made. Let's try that again. Never mind. I've died. Oh, all the way back at the beginning. Eh. 3D platforming. Still not my strong point. And jump. And jump. And jump some more. Right oh then. Let's try this once more. From the top. Whoa! Holy bejesus. Oh! And away I go. Oh jeez. Yeah, this is very fast and very difficult to control. Although it might help if I would go to keyboard. I don't know how well the controls are made for anything in this. Because again, it's just a demo. So it probably has some things to still be worked out. Overall, everything seems really well made. Like the controls are pretty good overall. I'm just not very good in a 3D environment, so that probably has a lot to do with it, and that's a nice slowdown. That was cool. Way! I actually... Ooh. Was I just flying? That was kind of neat. Ooh, it looks like we got a lot of platforming ahead of us. And I could really go for a checkpoint. Yeah, isn't this where I died earlier? Oh, boy. Oh, no! The next checkpoint is all the way up there. I get that it's supposed to be hard mode from the get-go, but come on, game. Hit. No, you don't. Hoo hoo hoo. And this is also supposed to be a speed game. I am doing the opposite of speed in this game. But again, I don't do well in 3D environments. They're fun. And I definitely enjoy what I am seeing in this. Yay, got a new life. Definitely needed that. Yeah, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing in this. The music is kind of nice, what I can hear of it. The mechanics and all seem pretty solid. Despite my inability to implement them. Way. Ooh. That's kind of cool. Things off in the far distance, blurry. Things right here in front of me, giant as they are. Crystal clear. So where am I going? I'm going over here. Apparently. Screw speed. I'm going at my own pace. Yep. Oh, things have a mirrored reflection. Look at that. That is cool. It's not just polished. It's polished enough that you could eat off it. You can use it for a mirror. This is cool. I like this. Whee! Even if I'm not very good at it. Oh, although a slight zoom out of the camera would be nice. Oh, thank the checkpoint galactic reached. star boxes. Finally a checkpoint. Now all I have to do is get through the rest of the stage without dying. However far that is. So where am I going? Eh. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? going. Well, I can't really see anything else now. Unless I'm going outward now. Okay. Probably. Yep, that's what it looks like. So many collectibles. Hip. At least they're plentiful. So I can work my way towards a new life. Possibly one in which I don't die. Oh. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Hip. Precision in a place where you don't get shadows or anything to see where you are. This is. This needs working on. 3D platforming with precision, dependent on speed. Yeah, not my thing. 
Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. Yeah, almost to the end. Yes, I am very paranoid about this sort of thing. It's rough enough in 2D. Need to catch a break? Press escape to pause. Oh, well, I mean, that's just basic instinct, but thank you. Ooh, oh, a checkpoint would be lovely before you're going to go rocketing me off into the distance. And we have arrows. Are we going to be suddenly... To oh, okay. Yep, I'm going to be rocketing off and then have to jump between different things. Oh, expect death. Here I go! Whoosh! This is... <laughs> Why, game? But yeah, that is very enjoyable, very satisfying. I do enjoy the speedy bits like that. But some rails would be lovely. Oh good, the checkpoint is at least relatively close to this. Yep. I mean, you can get used to doing the platforming over these, but they just feel so tiny, especially in a 3D environment. You can get better at it, sure. But that doesn't mean I feel good about it, especially when you're kind of quick. Once you land, you just kind of have to let your thumb off of the joystick. Ah, phew. Okay, now then. Let's try this again. Hopefully, without running off. I didn't even make it to the next thing. I just kind of fell off. Oh, come on. I couldn't even air dash while doing that. That's mean. Come on, game. Play nice. I've only got... Oh, really? I've gotten a couple of extra lives, camera. Okay. So yeah, I've still got four lives to go. Well, that's pretty neat. Although, if I run out of lives this time, I'll probably leave it at that. Because I really don't see myself doing super well in this. I like the game. It's... Whoa. Well made, for the most part. I can't say that I'm a fan of this. But that's just me. I don't 3D platform that well. But this is super difficult. Way Super fun. It's cool looking. Yo. Ho oh. ho ho ho. Yeah, I'm going to take my time when possible. Not gonna have an accident. Or more than I've already had. Turn around. And away we go. Slowly. 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 Speedy boost. Huzzah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Wait, what? Ah, oh, man, you're throwing lasers at me all of a sudden. How am I supposed to avoid that? That's mean, game. I had read something in the game's description about lasers, but holy crap. You didn't even give me a tutorial on that. You didn't say, hey, lasers, or anything. It just suddenly, there it was, looking like a blur to me. I didn't know if it was the finish line or what. But now I know. It's death. Way. Way. Some kind of tell that I am over these things would be lovely. I do like, though, that they light up when you are on them. Like when you're actually standing on them, so that's kind of cool. The big ones don't do it, just the little ones. Okay. Game, cooperate here. Tally ho! Well, I'm always so crap. Oh, it just wears out all of a sudden, and if you're like, even holding the jump button from your previous jump, you apparently automatically jump again. Okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, that is a laser over there. That's something to be mindful of. And... Zooby time! Oh, come on, game. This is mean. Okay, here we go. One more time. Wait, I'm running out of lives. Holy crap. Uh, 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 but, uh, and I slipped off. Of course I would. I make the landing. I make it all the way to the second place. And then I just slip off. I think the platforms are a little bit too polished. Just saying. Whoop. I am getting a little bit better at this. Although I will say. For a game dependent on speed. You don't want something like this in it. Because this kind of detracts from the whole going fast. Whee! I mean, obviously you get these, and these are great for the going fast portion. Hey oh I didn't jump. And that's all that I'm going to do with this for now. I might bring this back in a stream where I can just constantly throw bodies at everything, but as it is, I just kind of keep dying, and it makes it a little bit hard to keep enjoying it at the moment. Yeah, overall, this game is fun. I can see the appeal of it. I don't 
forget how it works with the whole speed thing. Because again, this is supposed to be like a fast game. Gotta go fast. So you're doing a bunch of running, acrobatics, jumping around, boost jumps, all that stuff. You're going through everything as quickly as you can. But it doesn't really seem like it's actually built for that. Like maybe if you had more acrobatic stuff, like, I don't know, wall jumping or in the super runny parts, maybe not have it so you could just fall off so easily. That would be kind of nice. I get that it's also supposed to be challenging, but there's a difference between challenge and just throwing the player off of the stage because whoops, they slipped on the floor. I mean, you may as well throw banana peels at everything. But yeah, visually, this is fantastic. I like this. It's simple overall, but then you have like the giant things out there. Then you have, uh, whoop, fell off again. But you also have those like off in the distance. They're blurry. I don't know if when we go off into that side of the stage that we can see them like more clearly or not, but it's kind of neat that you have them just all over the place. And of course the stage itself, that looks really cool. Reflections all over the place. I like shiny things, but yeah, it looks cool. This is a very neat looking game. I just feel like it needs a bit of work in terms of the whole going fast because it's got the whole 3D platformer thing going. It just feels like it's in conflict with itself for the whole speed thing. But anywho, this has been Tireless. Prepare for the adrenaline. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time and remember to stay groovy.